Hi, Megan. Great to meet you. To meet you. What a project. Oh my gosh. I don't know where to start, but I, <laughs> I'll ask you something simple. What drew you to this project? Well, when Hulu sent the book to me, I really connected with just the feeling of what it's like to be in an obsessive relationship and a relationship where you behave in ways you never thought you would behave and accept treatment that you know you shouldn't accept, but you do anyway. Um, and I think I, I feel like it's very relatable because I also know I've had so many girlfriends talk to me about these kinds of relationships, but I haven't really seen it done on TV, especially with characters of this age. Right. Because you normally you think of college as you're, you know, you're having these romances and you're not thinking of that relationship that's going to make damage you in some way long term. So um, what special things did you bring to the project um, based on the the uh, the overall shocking um, relationship between the two main characters? What did I bring to it in terms of when I was writing it? Um, right. I think I am just someone who's always been an observer of people. And I've always been someone who people are, for better or worse, quite open. Uh, that people tend to be quite open with me and uh, show me maybe the, the worst parts of themselves, um, not in a, in a cruel way, but... I love watching people. I love observing people. And I think I also have, you know, some history with some pretty dark relationships and certainly some people that remind me of Steven in my family or in my past. And so I was able to draw on a lot of feelings. And also I think with some of the mental health aspects of the show with depression, I, I suffer from depression and I was really excited to try to show that without labeling it in such an overt way. What, when I was watching the episodes, I have to tell you, I don't, I don't want to admit that I've been in a relationship similar or like that, but I think everyone has and has been surprised they survived it. Yeah. But the amount of emotion that I felt, I don't want to say it triggered me, but it real I really got invested in those characters, um, even though they're younger than me, but it was really telling um, to me that this should be a life lesson for everyone who watches it. So it can help, you know, them open their eyes. Is that something that you want people to take away from watching million, the series? A million percent. I, I mean, when I read the book, I remember thinking, oh my God, if I'd read this when I was 18, I would have seen myself all over it. And maybe I would have gotten out of this relationship much sooner. I think that at that age, you just have no sense of the long-term effects something can have on you. And we make these decisions in the moment because of these, you know, physical sensations or these addictions. And we don't realize that they're going to create habits that will last for years. And we have to unlearn for years, you know, and our, our earliest relationships are what kind of teach us how to be in one. Right. Right. Well, well done. Um, I have to say it wasn't something I was expecting and <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, definitely something that I will pass on to those who I think really need that life lesson. That I oh, <laughs> that's awesome. I think a lot of people do. I think a lot of people do. <laughs> awesome. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Take care.